Hey, welcome to our channel. Today we are in Georgia. We are looking at what is believed to be one of the movie cars used in the Mod Squad series. What we're looking at here is the green light version of the Mod Squad car. Three forty four barrel. We've gone through. We've taken out the cowl screen to verify the the VIN stamps. We've been through, as always, all the die lot stamp numbers. Looking at the frame configuration, and of course, right down next to the washer bottle. That's another critical die lot stamp number that we pulled up. Engines numbers matching. Of course, you have the build information for a small block is right there on the front of the engine. I mean, that certainly has been confirmed. As you can see, this car is certainly, was just pulled out of a, I guess you want to call it a garage find. It's going through a cleanup, it's still fairly dirty, but this is a loaded up car. AC, cruise control, power disc, variable speed wipers. It's all intact. It's had some minor spot in touch up and it even looks like there's been some clear put on the car so if you know the vin numbers you know of these cars that are the alleged uh you know show cars which we're trying to get some information on this particular vehicle at the moment jh 27 h1b 150400 you see the uh Order number R65933. Two tag car because it is heavily optioned. First right there is the secondary confidential number, which is on the upper cowl area. Primary number. Camera's having trouble picking it up. There, it's right there on the back of the front radiator core support, right at the top. Die lot stamp numbers right there, which we've been through. So this vehicle, as I said, it garage find, barn find, call it what you want. You know, this is certainly one of the, one of the two that, you know, allegedly were made. We're gonna have to do some research to just confirm that this is, you know, one of the vehicles we know the other one was, which we will share some information on that. We've seen that car around before. Convertible still has the, uh, the original glass in it. automatic six-way seat power windows you know we're looking for telltale signs you know to ensure this is uh, you know all factory correct 
and we're certainly seeing the level of details that are necessary. Then some paint in this area. What's been, uh, you know, certainly interesting about this car is there's elements on this car that, you know, we believe could have been used for <clears throat> camera equipment, which we'll show you in a second. Manufacturing label, that is the wedge that you find on convertibles. You can see there's been paint touch upon the heads of the screws there. Of course, this wedge on a convertible makes contact right there and just keeps some integrity, integrity of the doors of the body. <clears throat> now where we're seeing the, uh, the holes that we spoke about right there under the car. There's a series of them. Of course, being a convertible, you know, it has the uh, front support torque boxes <coughs> coming to the rear. There is another hole. As you can see, there's the six way seat brackets of the vehicle. A couple more holes. There is the rear, the rear torque box. And the mufflers can be hard to get at, but they do have mufflers and resonators. Both have 1969 date codes on them. Should say late late 69. Yep, that is the 1972. Back end. Seventy one bin. Nineteen seventy two front end.